doing some house cleaning. cleaning What's that? Day? You know, yeah, it's uh, yes, it's my daughter's uh, birthday party. Oh, okay. So we're cleaning up some stuff, getting everything ready. Okay, I'll try to make it not too long. Oh, yeah. then. No problem, no problem. So my name is Jeff. First okay. of all, what's your name, Jeff? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So what do you think happens after we die, Jesus? Well, personally, I would like to believe that there is an afterlife mm -hmm. where you know you would be uh, reunited with loved ones who have passed and you know there is going to be uh, you know potentially you know heaven's gates and you know celestial angels welcoming you you know that's right. what Growing up in a, in a Catholic family, that's what we were. Okay, otherwise known as heaven, believe. right? Yes, yes, there's yeah. an afterlife known as heaven. Yeah. Uh, some people believe that there's a middle ground, like a purgatory, before uh -huh. you finally get in. But, uh, yeah, I believe, I'd like to believe that's what it is. You know, other people think, you know, that's it, it's over. Yeah. You know, it's just... Yeah, there's nothing I've, thereafter, and you know other people believe that there's reincarnation. You know, there's I mean, a, there's a lot back. of beliefs yeah, out there. Exactly. And, but, uh, geez, I guess uh, personally, excuse me, personally, I'd like to believe, you know, that there is a heaven yeah. that I would go to, and yeah, you know, we'll see. and um, hell too. Like, and and I'm not saying like who mm -hmm. wants to believe in hell, right? Yeah, well, if there's and a I, heaven, and I don't even like talking about it, correct, but at the right. same time, you yes. know, you believe in heaven you and know, hell. There is a there, there, there may be a uh, a form of hell, mm -hmm. um, but you know within within Christianity, you know we're taught you know if you uh, you know confess your sins, God forgives all, then yeah. you're, you're welcome in. So I think it's a lot harder to get into hell than it would be to heaven, yeah, uh, possibly. Um, but you know if you're truly sorry for your sins. Yeah, only God knows if you're truly he only sorry. Knows your heart, exactly, yeah. exactly. You can't just say it like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in." Yeah, you know. And yeah. then, <laughs> you, I'm sorry you caught me. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sorry. I'm just sorry I got caught. Right. But uh, but yeah, if you're truly sorry for whatever it is that you believe was you know worthy enough for you to go to hell, yeah. Um, then yeah, you 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 may be you know absolved yeah. of your sins and let in. So you definitely believe in God. A uh, higher power higher being mm -hmm. yes uh, a, a form of God you know yeah. yes I, I believe so that you're kind of hesitant on like uh, saying like like God God as a know, specific like... person God as a father God yeah. as a male figure um, I tend to believe God more as a being uh -huh. um, you know an omnipotent being um, versus you know just a, a, you know assigned to sex yeah. um, and something like that. I, yeah, so that's my Yeah, we live in a belief, day and age where uh, it's like falling out of popularity to say God is a he or she. God or is a he or she. You know, yeah, you were you were brought up, but I, you know, as, you know, that is the one being, it, you know, you're assigned to, you know, a sex, he's a male, and this is, yeah. this is what it is. But uh, I think just the older that I got, uh -huh. um, and my own personal beliefs, I, I tend to believe that he is, uh, you know, I, I even say he's, you know, he, you know, subconsciously, you know, I believe he is is a being. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I like to someone, say a bit someone more. or something, I guess, mm -hmm. that you can have a relationship with, you know, that has, uh, that there can be, and I'm not saying like mm -hmm. you hear God verbally, but I'm saying, do you feel like you can have a relationship with God? Oh, uh, yes, you know, I'm still religious. I say my prayers every uh -huh. night. And I pray to a God, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, uh, I go straight to the source, right. um, you know, no middlemen, no, you know, no saints, you know, these sons, anything like yeah. that, daughters. Uh, I'm, so I'm not yeah. Catholic, I'm Protestant, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, that's always an issue is like, can we pray directly to God or do we need an, yeah. you know, a, mediator, a, 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 like Mary or a saint or <laughs> something exactly, like that. Exactly. So, something in so yeah, we would say, um, uh, so I'm going to put this down a little further because it's... Smaller. Yes, I, I do believe in, in a in a God, in a God, in a higher, in a higher power. Like I said, and you know, an you know, uh, all knowing. Um, but you know, just do you feel like you're a good person? Like, like I, so so the Bible talks about. Well, first of all, mm -hmm. let me ask: where do you where would you say you get your information about God? You know, like uh, like I would when say, you when you pray to God, mm -hmm. you're praying to a being that 
you feel you know a few things about, right? Is it where would you get that information? Would it be you more know, just, from the Bible or from church or cr- from your, well, your own uh, all of the references? Ab- all I of guess? the above. Uh-huh. Um, you know, growing up in Catholic schools, oh, you know, okay. I was uh, you know taught so, yeah. from the Bible uh, in church. Yeah. Uh, you know, very religious family. Mother still, you know, says the rosary yeah. daily. Um, so I learned a lot from you know my family of you know my yeah. my my Catholic faith yeah. would be from my family. I mean, my name's Jesus. It's right. Jesus. So there it's you go. Just like yeah, you know. So, I couldn't so help when you it. think about Jesus, like where where do you, where is his role as far as like I mean, they say he's the son of God, right? Yeah, that's that's what do you, you believe that. Said. What do you think about that? Um, you know. I believe there was a person that you know walked the earth at a a certain time, Uh correct? Um, Whether, but I do have doubts of the miracles of you know walking on water, turning you know bread and you know to to fish, water to wine, and things like that. I, you know, it's funny. I spoke with uh, I spoke with uh, when I was in college, Uh um, you know. it was the very first time I was around, uh, you know, Muslims. Oh, uh-huh. and you know, the ones that wear their um, hijabs. Yeah. And you know, it intrigued me, so I got to talking with them, uh-huh. and you know, about their religion, because all I knew was Christianity at the yeah. time. And yeah. you know, it, you know, it was enlightening to hear their perspective on Jesus, and you know, in comparison to you know the Prophet Muhammad, mm-hmm. and how um, Muslims also believe in Jesus, but Jesus the Prophet. Versus right, the yeah, miracle that's, worker. That's and the big difference. Yeah, so is, is, I was uh, like, is he that, just a person or is he actually correct? Yeah. So, so then, yeah. So I think of him as a as a person, as a as a prophet, and then you know, over time, stories that were were told about him evolved into you know the miracles that we hear today, or that were you know eventually edited into you know what's known as the Bible. Oh, okay. So, and yeah. and so the maybe the doubts about what the Bible said kind of came from that conversation or from that time period. Uh, possibly, um, it, it just opened my eyes and my mind more than to what was written on pages. Yeah. Um, just because you know it was said, we are to believe and not question. You know, that's what faith is. But whereas I tend, maybe just my personality, I tend to question more, yeah. ask the why behind the why, and then really look into it and what the Bible says, and then some of the teachings of the Bible, and you know the uh, the stances against things like homosexuality and men versus women, and what men can do and what yeah. women cannot do, and I just saw a lot of the inequalities of it, and I'm thinking, you know, this there's got to be more than that, and maybe yeah. if this fit the time, but yeah. you know, in the you know, I've, I've actually yeah. learned to ask a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I really feel very grateful to people. When I was in late high school, I had some adults talking to me about Christianity and saying that God isn't afraid of my questions. Mm-hmm. And as I've talked to different people and I've run this question by them, I, I, it seems like there's people who are asking questions in order to not have to believe. In, a, mm-hmm. in other words, I'm going to ask some questions that you know, like, I'm going to raise up some reasons to be skeptical, and I'm going to raise my bar of skepticism so high that nothing can pass it, you know? And then there's other people who just have genuine, genuine questions, and I've found that, you know, like, so I had questions, and i found that if I'm patient, the questions, you know, and if I keep searching, and if I keep looking, um, the, the questions are answered, you know? So I... I actually don't even, you know, like, for example, I believe Jesus did walk on water. Uh, why? Because uh, I do believe he was the son of God. Mm-hmm. Like, he, you know, like he claimed to be. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you ever thought about this, but like Jesus, we, we see Jesus as a great prophet, right? Mm-hmm. Mo- the Muslims do. Uh, mm-hmm. A prophet is like a teacher from God, you know, or a, or a, a truth teller, someone that tells God's truth, right? If he was really great and he made the claims that he made, which, you know, like he claimed to be the Messiah, you know, the, the, the coming, you know, like he, uh, then he wouldn't be a great prophet. He would be a liar, you know? <laughs> or a, like, a great storyteller. I, yeah. Uh, do I really want to follow a liar? Or he would be crazy, mm-hmm. you know, really believing himself to be something that he's not. And again, I wouldn't want to follow him. Possibility. But if he's really telling the truth, 
which is what I believe. You know, like when you read the Bible, it's like, you know, like it, it all revolves around Jesus and sure. who he is. And that's why he was put on the cross. You no, know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if and if I were to read the Bible and take it literally and, you know, that's what I would, you know, undoubtedly yeah. believe. But then you, you know, you research. There are parts of the Bible to, to take literally and other parts that are not mm -hmm. meant to be yeah, taken literally. As examples. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, like, for example, I mean, and when I say that, you know, like some people think, well, you kind of pick and choose. Mm -hmm. which, but some, some parts are like, it's obvious. Like Jesus told parables. Mm -hmm. He told stories that made a point. And they were obviously things that he just made up. They didn't really happen. Mm -hmm. But he, he told these stories in order to make a spiritual point. Make a point, you know? correct. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't take that literally. But I do, you know, I would say, here's the thing. If God exists, I do believe he exists. Mm -hmm. Correct. He wouldn't leave it up to our, our imagination, you know, to figure him out and to, like, even kind of, like, know who to pray to or whatever. Mm -hmm. He would reveal himself. So it's, it's like, revealed knowledge. You wouldn't leave it up to like our ability to like conduct experiments, the scientific method, you know, figure out knowledge for ourselves. I mean, that's important yeah, in correct. its place. But as far as figuring God out, it's 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 called rele relevatory knowledge. God revealing Himself to us, and how would He do that? But in a way where all of us could have the same knowledge, which is what I believe the Bible to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like God showing Himself, working through history, and. Uh, so, and then again, the Bible is more like a, like a li like a whole library of books. It's mm -hmm. not just, just one book. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, there's her. Uh, yeah, that's it. I got. I, I, I want to respect your time. I know you got to get <laughs> yeah, going. So, yeah. can I give you something to read that I, I think will um, really answer a lot of these questions? Sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. I know how it is when you've got family things going oh, yeah. on, and this is a book um, more than a carpenter. Mm -hmm. Jesus was the carpenter. But it's saying he's more than that. Why? Well, here's some evidence to show who he is and, yeah, yeah. and who he said he was. So oh, can you give this? Can you bring it up to her? I'm going. Yeah. To... Okay. So. Uh, All right. Yeah. Then. I. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to. All right. I don't want to go too long. So All right. I, I would. Cool. My name, name and numbers on there. Sure. Okay. Um, so also, um, right, Jeff. let me do this. Uh, let me give you this card. This is where I go to church, okay. and uh, that's the website. Where I'll post this to. Oh, cool! Yeah, I go to. And uh, it'll take a few days. Yeah, no problem. Take a time. Um, no rush. But uh, could I? Um